Most of the time, Raymond Burr had to look fairly serious playing Perry Mason. After all, the character was supposed to be a no-nonsense attorney who won virtually every case. Normally, any laughter was at the end of the show as he explained the solution and wrapped things up in a positive note. And, of course, that famous Raymond Burr smile was also evident whenever Perry and Della were doing a little flirting. Other than that, things were fairly serious. But in real life, Raymond Burr had a great sense of humor. The lovely Barbara Hale was often the victim of the practical jokes he was always playing on the set, but they both had fun. And unlike other actors who could be sensitive about anything, say, their age, with Raymond it wasn't any big deal. In fact, he went out of his way to emphasize, to me at least, how far back he launched his Broadway career in Crazy with the Heat, a musical review no less, followed by an historical drama called The Duke in Darkness. I started out in New York here in a musical in 1941, I believe, with Crazy with the Heat. And I was singing and dancing. Then I did um, a play that Alexander Cohen produced, The Duke in Darkness, a Patrick Hamilton show in 1943. And But you were only five at the time you did it, uh, right? Mr. Uh, Cohen was only five at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was six. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I suppose the thing is that folks, uh, of course, the theater work, they, they're, they're not uh, barraged with that continually as we are with, the, with all of your, uh, your, your well-known movies that are, that are showing up on, on television these days. And that's probably why I, I don't think of you so, so much as a song and dance man as I do. As, uh, well, I never heavy. did any <laughs> really singing and dancing in, in pictures or television in this country. I've done some specials in places like Australia in which I ventured to sing a little bit. Raymond was very modest about his singing, but with that deep baritone speaking voice of his, my guess is he was pretty good. Also, unlike other actors, Raymond Burr, who made some fantastic films like A Place in the Sun and Rear Window, didn't mind kidding about some of the movies that he made that didn't do quite as well with the critics. His attitude toward films like the Marx Brothers' Love Happy and the low-budget Bride of the Gorilla... Hey, he said, I made so many movies and they're all on TV. Eh, people see them all the time. No, I, I did uh, between 46 and 56, around 90 motion pictures. I remember watching you always as the heavy. It seemed almost always. If I bring up some old uh, sort of love happy... Bride of the Gorilla, if you won't get angry at me bringing up that no, one. No, I'm, uh, I'm, all those pictures are showing today <laughs> on television. Bride of the Gorilla was a jungle-themed horror film of the potted palm tree variety, and Love Happy is generally recognized as the Marx Brothers' worst movie. But I like them both. Raymond did a fine job in Bride of the Gorilla, and Love Happy is known today for featuring Raymond as a henchman and for having a young Marilyn Monroe in a walk-on part. Oh, and what a walk. I'm Brian McFadden. For more, you might want to check out my Amazon book, Remembering Perry Mason with Raymond Burr. 